Good evening guys and welcome back to the channel. So it's evening for us because it's a Thursday. We've started work on this vehicle at 8.30 this morning and it's now 8.30 this evening. So it's been a pretty full on day for myself and Richard and Owen. So this lovely T6.1 has been in for a load of mods. Realistically, it's a day and a half worth of work, um, but we have done it in our usual expert style, um, professionally done and dusted in one day as promised, but it's been a full on 12 hours uh, apart from a little break for lunch. So gonna quickly run through what we've done and then we'll do a quick stuff walk around the van um, so that it's not a massively long video. But it's a really nice looking van already and it's a 71 plate T6.1. So what we've done to make it better is on the outside of the van, we've gone for stealth black new LED DRL headlights with both bulb or lamp upgrades um, to give you LED, um, which will mean that the vehicle driving at night now it's going to be much better than what it came into today with the um, the candles and the night as we call them. We've also upgraded the uh, LED T6.1 rear light clusters. So it came to us with the halogens, now driving away with the really nice cherry or smoked uh, rear LED light clusters, which are really, really cool. We've gone for stage one, two and three, sound deadening. So that's outer skin, window regulator, and door card. We've gone for the Alpine SPC 106 T61 component speakers and tweeters up on the dash. We've gone for the dedicated SWC D84 subwoofer, which is the eight inch under seat carpeted sub, along with an Alpine monoblock KTA 200M amplifier, which is just for this purpose of the subwoofer. That is all then connected to the Halo 11. Now the Halo 11 has been refitted into this T6.1 with the full Alpine menu retention, with the SOS eCall retention, uh, integrated the microphone, uh, the parking sensors, the factory camera, We've run and routed the GPS antenna into the passenger door. We've even topped it all off with the VW uh, approved blue ambient lighting. So that's ambient door pocket lighting, footwear lighting, and uh, now this van is pretty tricked out, which is pretty cool, uh, pretty amazing. And we're pretty tired. So we're looking forward to get this video done and go home and get some food. So that's it. Now we're gonna walk around the van and show you what we've been doing. Right, starting in the order that I read it out and I've still got my piece of paper because it's gonna probably forget otherwise. Stealth black LED lights. Fantastic bit of kit. Uh, we've done a lot of them in the chrome. This is now a few we've done in stealth black and really transformed the front end of the vehicle. You've got your LED uh, DRLs. You've then also got both bulb upgrades done for the LED side of things. And so you've got your dipped in your main beam, which will transform your driving. You've also got your dynamic indicator. So we're just gonna turn the light off. 
Now, what I'll do is I'll get Rich to jump in the vehicle uh, and I'll get him to do a couple of little things for, um, hopefully the camera is gonna focus okay. Uh, these look really, really good. So if you're gonna be driving this vehicle home and it starts to get dusk, obviously it was only the longest day yesterday, so um, he may even get home before it does. But if we do uh, indicators first, so with normal aftermarket headlights and with factory, as soon as you indicate, the DRLs go off. Um, and then if you pop the um, dipped beam on, so dipped beam is your outside projector. And then when you put your main beam as well, you've then got double trouble. So when all of your lights are off and just your side lights are on or your DRLs, you're gonna have these um, uh, eyelash, half moon, whatever you want it. What would you call them? Yeah, like, like eyelashes. Well, let's call them eyelashes. It's a stupid name, but we've made it up. So that's what you get, and it looks quite striking, um, especially because there's two of them as well. So that's it. That's the front of the vehicle. Oh, you might have also noticed um, in the front uh, bumper splitter here that you've got some um, aftermarket DRLs. Nothing to do with us. The van came from the styling company with them fitted, but they look quite good anyway. Um, it would be great if they're all the same color temperature, but we don't have any control over that. Right, now we're gonna jump to the back of the van and show you the uh, rear LED lights. Okay, so only for the tailgate vehicles, you can't have the genuine LED Volkswagen rear light clusters unless you've got a tailgate. This vehicle rolled into us today with the halogens. Uh, they're just, there's no tint on them. They don't look sexy, whereas these do. So at the moment, the lights are currently on. Uh, Rich is just gonna put the vehicle into reverse to show you the fact that it's now got um, dual reverse light, which it did come into us. Unlike the T6s, the T6.1s have dual reverse anyway, but they're halogen. So now you've got some really nice white LED for reversing, which is actually gonna achieve something. Now we're gonna just pop the vehicle back into and then pop the brakes on. So brakes are on at the moment. You've got your high level brake light as well. And then hazards on. So you've got your hazard lights on as well. And then when your dipped beam is on, you can put your dual fog on. So you'd only get one side fog with these from standard um, and we wire it up to give you the dual fog light as well. So this is the genuine VW T6.1 rear LED light clusters done and dusted. We've got our fancy new number plates and we've got our fancy new projector. So everything's pretty fancy. Right, so I really like LED lighting. Uh, it's a bit of a bugger to fit. Um, it's quite difficult, it's quite tricky. You've got to take these modern door cards off and they're not as well built as they used to be. But I really like the door pocket lighting in these. And when you're driving at night or down a country lane, uh, they look really, really cool. Yes, we've had this conversation before. We're bound to get some comments from some of you. We know that the temperature, uh, the color of the footwear lights is different to the door pocket. We don't make this kit, we just fit it. But either way, I still think it looks pretty cool. You can't, it's not RGB, you can't change it. Uh, it's blue if you want the ambient door pocket lighting, but there are, there are other kits out there. So that works purely off the light switch. We've still got the factory LED lights in there. Uh, Matt's probably struggling with the camera right now to uh, for it to focus, but we've left the factory footwear lights in there because they're off to one side anyway and really make no odds whatsoever. So these are a VW approved product and this is your blue ambient lighting. Now Rich is gonna put the lights back on and we're gonna to talk to you about the audio stuff.
Right, the big part of it is the Alpine under seat subwoofer, uh, big eight inch carpeted box uh, bolted to the seat base, normally under the driver's seat, depending on what tech you've got under there or what factory kit you've got under there. This has gone under the passenger seat. We've teamed it up with a dedicated monoblock amp, uh, which is the um, Alpine KTA 200M. Awesome bit of kit, kicks butt, um, but it's fantastic. Usual power connection up to the battery. Um, we've used some good quality RCA leads to run from there up to the new Halo 11. We've teamed the Halo 11 up with stage one, two, and three sound deadening, which you'll see during the video. We've gone for the SPC 106T61 component speakers. It'll all be in the buy anyway. You can see in there and you can have a look at them. You get the awesome Alpine A-pillar uh, die-cast metal tweeter grills. Uh, and you know, actually, just sitting here, it transforms the vehicle as it is, let alone the sound. The sound, we think, for the money, is awesome. Yes, you can go for um, other packages, beginning with A, but this Alpine setup is pretty awesome. Uh, so let's talk about the Halo 11. Not for everyone, it's a massive screen, but I think it really sits beautifully in this T6.1. And for me, everything needs to be big these days, whether it's your go large on your, on your food, your takeaways, or go large everywhere else. This is a massive screen and it's awesome. I don't think it looks out of place, but what we have done is we have teamed this Alpine up with the very new released Alpine vehicle information system. So now everything that would have been available through your original factory radio is available through the Alpine and it is perfect. Clean, crisp, clear. You don't have to function it off the steering wheel. It's all off here like so. You've then got simple things like your climate control, if it works, unfortunately in this vehicle it doesn't really offer much, it just turns it on and off. Um, and also you've got your parking sensor, but at the same time you've then got your reversing camera and your parking sensor. So when we leave reverse gear, um, it goes back into the parking sensor mode. So in terms of functionality, you lose nothing. What do you gain? A 720p HD 11 inch screen, Apple CarPlay wireless, wired Android Auto. In the glove box, we've gone for dual USB. And the reason why we've done dual USB in there is because we can't yet retain the factory USB-C down here. And unfortunately they won't work because they were connected to the original radio. Um, but we will get a solution sorted out for that. Um, and when we do, we'll let you know so that we can at least use them or retain them somehow. So, the um, subwoofer and the speakers, well, the speakers already sound pretty amazing, but with the added stage one, two, and three sound deadening means that you're gonna turn it up and everything's gonna hold together. You're gonna get that bass response. You're gonna allow the speakers to move freely and let the tweeters do their job. The sub under the seat, We've set it up so you've got your own gain control on here. Um, the subwoofer we've got currently set to eight out of 15 and we've adjusted the monoblock amp um, so that, that is kicking uh, out some really good sound without being too woolly or too boomy. Um, it's a really nice solid bass, which is awesome. Uh, that's it, I think we have covered absolutely everything. We've done the lights at the front, lights at the back, lights in the vehicle. We've done the stage one, two, and three sound deadening. We've done the speakers. Uh, we've done the subwoofer. We've done the Halo 11 with the e-call retention so that there's no warnings up on the dashboard. There may be a few warnings or errors behind the scenes, but that's because we've taken out officially the radio. There's no screen, there's no drive. So there's gonna be a few issues behind the scenes, but it doesn't affect how the van drives or the safety and we've got nothing up on the dashboard. So if you like this video and you've got a T6.1 or you know anybody else has got a T6.1, unsure of who to use, where to go, what to go for, you need to come and see us, all right? Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and family, keep watching and we will keep posting pretty cool videos as much as we can, often as we can uh, and have a good day.